Noah Newberg, Pastor Steve here with our Monday Minute for July the 20th of 2020. Wanted to jump right into our uh, devotional for the day and talk about storms. A lot of us uh, experienced some storms uh, yesterday as uh, the hot summer weather uh, sparked up some uh, severe storms. And in fact, uh, as uh, we're doing this, we're without power over at the church uh, because it's knocked that out as well as uh, we're told for about 100,000 other customers around the uh, Metro Detroit area. And uh, for us in particular, while it didn't impact us in, in, at our house in terms of our power, it impacted us in other ways. Uh, we were setting up to have some family over to celebrate my uh, daughter's birthday yesterday outside and uh, we had a uh, outdoor uh, tent uh, not a really expensive one but still one just uh, that was set outside to create us uh, some extra shade and uh, help us to stay a little cooler on what we uh, has been a very hot summer here and then the storm kicked up and picked it up right out of its stakes and everything flipped it over with uh, the strong wind gusts that we had and busted it up in uh, several places as a matter of fact. We don't really know and don't really think actually that the tent is salvageable anymore. We had it up actually uh, for a, a little celebration and a movie night with our friends and we decided just to leave it up uh, so we could get some more use out of it. Well, it turned out that decision wasn't the best decision either. And in fact, in the midst of it, uh, in uh, some vain attempts to try to uh, think about how we could save it, one of which, as uh, the winds were raging and there was uh, thunder and lightning going out, was just go out and get it as much as you can. To which we thought, oh yes, on second thought, that's probably not a good idea. Go out in the middle of a storm and grab some metal poles with uh, lightning flashing all around us. Fortunately, uh, wiser heads prevailed and uh, we sacrificed the tent uh, and that's just what happened. Storm come up a lot of times uh, unexpected even in this day and age with advanced weather tracking uh, sometimes storms can pop up and uh, we weren't really predicting them and didn't know where they were coming from sometimes they can be stronger in intensity or less intense than we even think they might be but sometimes we just get downright surprised and for us at least this one was surprising but in the same token, that's oftentimes how it happens in our lives. The storms spring up when we don't expect them. And it's how we handle them that makes all the difference. We could have gone out and done something stupid, and who knows what the consequences would have been. But because we had to realize the greater good, which is our lives and our health and our safety, we're able to let uh, certain things go. In all of the Synoptic Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, they tell the story of Jesus being in the boat with his disciples and he falls asleep. And it's while he is asleep that a storm rages up on the sea and his disciples become afraid. Jesus is awakened and he calms the storm as the disciples say, Master, how is it that you can be sleeping? Can't you see that we're all going to perish here? And when Jesus either says, peace be still or rebukes the storm, or simply stops the storm. He turns to his disciples and again, in various ways, depending on which gospel you read, he essentially says, why don't you have any faith? Well, they had faith in Jesus, but they didn't have faith about what was gonna happen with the storm and for good reason. But they also knew that they had Jesus with him. A lot of storms have come up in our lives lately and a big one that we're uh, facing right now and we have to find ways to navigate it. And I think that's part of what Jesus was getting at, is that if we are listening and we are faithful, we can find ways to navigate the storms in our lives. And we know that Jesus is always going to be with us and he is there even at times to stop it when it needs to be. But Jesus has given us the tools in order to be able to navigate those storms. Now, sometimes it means we have to sacrifice. In this case, I lost a tent. Uh, hopefully we can fix it, but we will see. Probably not. Uh, sometimes we lose even more than that. The church has lost a, a convenience of electricity for a time. But all of those things can be replaced. All of those things can come back. We can get those again. But what we also have to remember is that our faith is what guides us throughout this whole journey. 
and that is something that is irreplaceable. Having that faith that we know we can go forward, knowing that we can share in our struggles together, we can lift one another up, but also that Jesus is with us. And just when we think we can't handle it anymore, He's there to calm that storm. So whatever storms of life that we're facing right now, we know that they will pass as I'm uh, sitting out here again on uh, what's a beautiful and uh, pleasant sunny day right now. But we also have to be prepared for more storms. Uh, reminds me of an old song uh, by Christian artist uh, Rich Mullins, who's been uh, tragically was taken from us uh, too soon, uh, 22 years ago in a car accident. But his song, uh, Ready for the Storm, reminds us that it's not just the one storm we have to be prepared for, but it's all storms in life. And he repeats in that chorus that I, as a follower of Jesus, I am ready for the storm. Yes, I'm ready. So will we be ready for the storms that come in our lives? I hope so. And I think that as we see what has been happening at Newburgh here, we've done a lot to prepare ourselves to weather those storms so that we have faith and we know that Jesus is going to be with us in the midst of all of it. This week we've got uh, another activity for us to try to be together again uh, for our outdoor movie night on uh, Wednesday, July the 22nd. We again will be watching the weather so we can be ready for uh, any potential storms or anything else that comes up. So stay tuned to our social media and uh, our other uh, venues that will help us to communicate if we do need to reschedule. We also are looking ahead and uh, going to be uh, celebrating uh, Sunday of Missions uh, in our worship service, so we hope that you'll join us for that uh, this coming Sunday. And uh, then as we move into the month of August, we'll be looking at planning some more outdoor worship opportunities in addition to, not instead of, our Sunday morning online worship, as well as some other fellowship and family activities. So we want you to watch for those as uh, we make those announcements as well. Until then, we'll look forward to seeing you on Wednesday, seeing you on uh, Sunday, and then I'll be taking a break from the Monday Minute next week as I'll be on uh, vacation, but uh, we'll have an, another person here that'll bring you your Monday Minute and help us to continue to walk together in faith in Jesus Christ. Have a great weekend.